All right, what's good y'all? So today I'm gonna be showing you how Lucky Saw More Than Ever was, was produced by Chase Money. And I know I did a tutorial on this, like when I first started remaking these beats and it was pretty trash. And ever since then, I kind of worked on it on and off and tried to get the 808 right. I had done the whole beat like one week after that tutorial cause I felt like it was so bad. But the 808, I just spent days and days coming back to it and like I, I still haven't made it exactly the same but anyway I'm gonna show you what I did to get the really close sounding you know replica I guess um, and I'll play you the beat first uh, so you can judge for yourself first before you keep on watching the video so yeah here's the beat Right, so like that sounds pretty familiar. Of course, the 808 is still not perfect. I tried a lot of different things, but I'm gonna first start off with the melody. So we have this Omnisphere preset and Ambient Space Piano, which I'm like 100% sure is what he used because like this is what it sounds like. And you know, I worked on this also because my other melody wasn't the same. I put on the half time, um, like here, the half time, so that there's this like strumming. I don't know how to even call it, but anything that plays here starts playing here as well due to the reverb on this piano. Because by itself, it has a lot of reverb, and also you have to take out some of the reverb. So I just left out this one. I'm not really sure, but if the three of them are playing at the same time that's too much reverb so yeah this is the first part and then we have the second part which just plays it an octave higher as you can see here like you're gonna hear these notes when we play this so i'm gonna show you you're gonna hear this when the third or the second third beat starts like that well it, it's it's actually it's actually sounding like this because it's half timed anyway that's that's the main trick with this melody and also it's like there, there are these it's not exactly on this grid it's a bit to the right bit to the left sometimes to give it more of that movement and when you put it on half time it sounds like that i consolidated it because it was like the reverb was building up and up and i didn't want that to happen so anyway now we have this clap um there's a clap and then the snare layered on top of it. so the clap sounds like this and then the snare sounds like this and both of them together they sound like this no effects any whatsoever um, and then we have this open eye hat and then there's this lower open eye hat kind of thing which i'm not sure if it's an open eye hat but i got it to like recreate that sound pretty good while, while with doing this so the open eye sound like this and then we have the hi-hats um this is the hi-hat got some reverb by itself and I also put on some reverb here, this preset, um, sounds something like this with these rolls. There's this pause right here, and also here, and also here, but the, these rolls make up for these pauses, but here is definitely here audible, but because there's a clap and then the 808 comes in, you don't really hear it unless you're looking for that pause. Um, then we have this kick right here Sounds like this I 
put some like EQ to cut out the highs and then the little bit of the mids and finally let's go to the 808 so I put two of these first off the Irene 808 I tried the spins 808 didn't work like I, I, I kept trying to spins 808 but this one is just so much similar to the normal one compared to the spins with like distortion that I just used this so we have the like the bass 808 which sounds like this on its own And I'm pretty sure this is it because when you look at the EQ, you're going to see that it peaks at around 44, 66 and then 52 hertz. And it's the same in the in the actual song that you, you see these peaks here. So I got this EQ to cut out a little bit of the really highs and then also just boosting up those frequencies to give it more of that you know bass feeling i put a side chain yeah the kick is side chain to the both 808s and then the other 808 is the same 808 i put some resonance at this like 12 percent and also eq to cut out the lows because we're going to be distorting it to get that treble effect um some free fuzz which is like a fuzz distortion filter saturation in this type b 100% saturation and then crush at this punch preset but I modified it as you can see here and then just some tube warmth and candle crush here to beefing it up even more so this sounds like well this and thanks to that resonance you, you see that like the F and then the G sharp have much more noise compared to the C and then the F because that resonance basically like only affects certain frequencies and like those frequencies play when they're not as high as C and in the original song you also can see that but it's it's a bit different so like this is not exactly the same and yeah I think that's pretty much the whole beat um, effects on this anything else I mean I don't think there are any other effects and yeah this is the whole video. as i said i'm still not sure what the 808 is i asked chase the money when he commented on my video and like yeah you know he wouldn't respond so you know maybe if he responds we're gonna know that but till then i don't think anyone's gonna notice anyway um i hope to see y'all in the next video and i'm gonna let the more than ever instrumental play for y'all now